everybody. I am headed out east in New York on a trip that was sort of spur of the moment. It's a really nice day and there's an outcrop out here that I've driven past a uh, hundred times and never actually stopped at it. So today I'm going to go out there and have a look at it and see what this outcrop's all about. So if you want, stick around, come check it out with me. All right, so I found this outcropping. I've driven past this thing I don't know how many times. I've never really stopped at it because this is more shallow water material. So a uh, New York term that gets thrown around a lot for this type of stuff is called um, shemung facies, which is a lot of very like interbedded silty shales and siltstones, occasionally sandstones, but like the, sort of the flaggy, um, you know, marine shallow water environment stuff that um, often would pass into like offshore gray shale facies and things like that. So, so that's kind of like what we're in right here is this very shallow water um, material. There's lots of um, fossils throughout all of this stuff, which is uh, pretty interesting. We'll take a look at some of that stuff, but this is um, part of the Conneaut group, and it's most likely, if I had to hazard a guess, probably like the Hinsdale Formation or something like that, and we'll get a better look at it here. Yeah, so there you go. Here's this, this big outcrop, and the sun's totally in the wrong spot to really have a good look at it but uh but yeah so this is this is hinsdale formation most likely part of the, the conneaut group um you can see uh, up in here these inner bedded uh shales and siltstone sections through here so you can see sea levels probably moving back and forth a little bit in here we got these more you know shaley shaley sections that we find like right in here and then we pass up into these into these sandier sections they're probably like representing you know either like delta lobe evulsion or some you know small like near shore um transgressive regressive signals those types of things through here but let's take a look at the fossil assemblages we find in this stuff so you can see some of these bedding planes are just full of little crinoid button impressions. There's a little producted brachiopod right there. So pretty typical fauna of what you find in these sort of what they call the shemung facies. So these sort of shallow water neuritic environments. Look at this. We got trace fossils all over this surface here. So for all the ichnologists that are out there, there's a little bit of that stuff going on there for you. Look at that, that's a pretty interesting um, impression of a very, very long crinoid stem through there. So maybe a little bit lower energy depositional environment this is a little bit more shally here that allowed that to be preserved and not disarticulated. Look at this plate. This has got, it's got productids on it. It has spiriferate brachiopods. It's got those tiny little small things that I don't even know what they are. The word orbiculoids come to mind but i don't know if that's right but uh anyways yeah this is a cool piece this is coming home with me look at this edge where it's been etched by the weathering you can see it's just jam-packed with pieces of brachiopods and disarticulated crinoid stems you know real high energy stuff here you know i'd almost call these things like a coconut they're like a coquina that you find on modern day beaches there except this is all upper devonian well everyone thanks for uh joining me on this quick trip to the upper devonian like late late devonian material here i'm um, looking at some of these you know these shallow shelf facies that i don't normally look at usually i'm further west of here looking at the offshore deeper marine deposits here but it's kind of fun every now and then to come in and and look at these near shore environments and see what's going on in there and the fact that a lot of these beds are jam-packed full of uh brachiopods and crinoids you know that's just a little bit of icing on the cake so uh thanks for tuning in and watching this and we will see you on the next video thanks so much bye